Did you know you could run a shortcut from the action button on your Apple Watch Ultra? Today we're going to talk about the action button on the Apple Watch and what you can trigger with it, namely shortcuts. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can get more done using the action button on your Apple Watch Ultra. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video if you found it useful, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss new how to's and reviews. All right, if you have an Apple Watch Ultra, there's an orange button on the left hand side that you can use to trigger functions. Start a workout or the stopwatch. If you're on a hike, you can add a waypoint, a couple other ones you can do but you can also trigger a shortcut. This starts to make things a little more interesting. What if you could trigger different actions with one press? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how you can get a menu of options when you press the action button. All right, let's take a look at the action button in action. Um, so I've got my watch here. The action button is on the left-hand side. I'm going to press that. It's gonna start the action and there's my menu. So in my menu, I've got um, the ability to start a workout, send a message, to start a timer, uh, lock the front door. Let's start a workout. If I tap on that, my workout starts here, and it's that easy. So it's easy to start doing that. Let's stop that, go back, and let's start that action again. And this time, I'm going to start a timer. So this will start a timer. It's going to ask for how long I can, or I could configure this for a specific time. So I could configure this to automatically start uh, my timer for like say 10 minutes. Maybe I do 10 minute timers all the time. So I could do that there. Let's look at the um, watch app and see how this is configured. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the watch app and uh, jump in here and then see where you configure the action button. So within the watch app, you'll go to action button and then the top action, if I tap there, you'll see some predefined things you can do, like you can start a workout or, or start your stopwatch, add waypoints, but there's shortcut right here. So if I tap on shortcut and then go back and then I go to my shortcut, um, menu option below that, you'll see all the shortcuts that I have listed. And I've selected the action button menu. And next we're gonna go and see how that is configured. So if I go back out, let's go back home, let's go into shortcuts, and then we're gonna scroll down, see the action button menu. I'm gonna tap and hold that and go into edit. And this is what it looks like. So from within the action button menu, I'm starting with a menu where I've got different options within the menu. And then each one of these options are going to res uh, go towards the action below it. So you'll see at the top here, I've got workout, messages, timer, and front door. And my workout, as an example, I have that. So when I, when I hit the workout button, it's going to start an outdoor walk with an open goal. If I hit messages, it's going to send a text with predefined text to my wife. If I go to timer, it's going to start a timer for a, it's going to ask me the duration for how many uh, minutes. And then my front door is going to set a front door and it's going to lock the front door. So if I tap on front door, you'll see the accessory comes up and it's set to lock. If I go to the timer and let's say I wanted to change this. So once you download this, if you want to change this and can kind of make it your own, maybe you need a timer for a specific uh, duration. So if I tap on duration, I can clear this out or I can um, specify that. So let's say, um, let's say you wanted to make this a uh, stopwatch instead, or let's just get rid of this timer there. So now the timer option is there and I'm going to, look up timer and set timer. It's going to drop that below here, but I can tap and hold and drag it up. And so now it's part of this timer menu. And if I click on duration, maybe I want a 10 minute timer every time I tap that. So now every time I start this action button menu and I tap on timer, it's going to start a 10 minute timer. 
and that's how you can make that change. So I'm going to get rid of this and we'll look up timer again. Set timer. I'm going to drag this up. And so now this timer is going to ask for the duration. So if I tap on this, um, I'll do ask each time. And that's where you saw in the video when I hit timer, it asks for the duration of what, how long I wanted the timer to be. And that's how you can configure this. You can add more items. So at the top, maybe you wanted to make this longer. If you want to get rid of something, and maybe you don't need the front door trigger, you can tap the red dot next to front door and that'll remove that. Or you can add a new item, add an emoji with something there, something really short so it shows easily on your watch and you can add something new. Well, that's how you can create a simple menu shortcut that runs from the action button on your Apple Watch Ultra. The creation of this menu that you can add things to really gives the action button more functionality. I'll put a link to this shortcut in the description below if you'd like to use it. Feel free to modify it if you'd like. We'd also love to hear how you all are using the action button in the comments below. Or if you've taken the shortcut and modified it, let me know that too. Thanks again for watching everyone and talk to you soon.